Very good, uh, Greg Hughes. <laughs> Greg Hughes. <laughs> Listen, Greg Hughes. <laughs> That's with two That's G's. great. Because it's not Gregory. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> hey, Bruce, what's up? What's up, guys? Yo, I thought that secret sound was, you know, Don and Mike choking on your mules, dude. Totally suckers. I just want to pro proclaim you guys the new radio gods, and those guys can go take it deep. Oh, dear. Thank you, my friend. Oh, gosh, golly. Oh. Don't be talking. <laughs> oh, jeepers. This is the fat guys who agree with everything the other one says show. <laughs> hey, it looks like the A's are going to go all the way. <laughs> oh, my. I'll say. <laughs> oh, yeah, sounds like so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What does Frida think? <sighs> <laughs> Jesus. I like again. Buzz. Buzz I like. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Michael, what's going on? Hey, guys. Hey, Michael. How you doing? Hey, Listen, uh, first of all, you know, I've listened to those guys. I gave them a shot to begin with, okay? There you go. Now, uh, I'm not 12 years hold on, old. Hold on, Michael, did we tell you not to listen to them? No. Because that was said today, too. No, that please. subliminally, uh, we, we tell our listeners not to listen to other radio shows. No, I give everybody a shot, you know, Pharrell, I, Ron and Fez, you I, know. I, I, I wish we had the control uh, over the audience like that, because I would tell all you guys to just send us money and we'd go retire. <laughs> well, you know, I'm also late 30s like you guys, and uh, I'm not 12 years old on the <laughs> Internet. Yeah, but okay. see, we, we're trying to make everyone think that we're, like, uh, in our late 20s, early right. 30s. Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah. You know, that ant uh, talks about video games because it, he, he thinks that's what the young kids want to hear. That's what the kids want to hear of. I sure hope I do good on my SATs. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, there's much... <laughs> and I hang at the skate shop because... The skateboard stand. Oh, stand. I keep saying shop. Uh, yeah, skates... That might make too much sense. I hang out at the skate stand because that's what all the young uh, guys do. The young hipsters are doing. 23 skidoo. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, they try to justify the age. Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter how old you are as long as you're funny. Yeah, I mean, but again, they were like 40, late 40s or mid 40s, whatever they are. They're acting like they're 12 years old, blaming you for their problems. I mean, if you didn't want... support them. Meanwhile, these guys are from Washington. They're Washington Redskins, and they're talking about the Redskins in New York? You're right, Florentine. You're absolutely right. <laughs> well, well, wait. Wait, Norton. Norton, you're the buffer, Norton. <laughs> Florentine. We, uh, it was also said today that we hide behind Jim Norton. Yeah, it is. And, we, said, allow, he's, and he's, we allow he's him to, to say all our stuff for us. Yes. Because we don't have the balls to say it ourselves. Well, I mean, again, they may be one in, uh, number one in Wisconsin, but they're not uh, number one in, uh, what is that, bum? Whatever, I, Iowa. But we're a hoping. Long time ago. Um, Anthony, I, I, yeah. I just got to stop the show for a second. Oh, oh yeah. I want to apologize to Super GM Ken Stevens. Why? Well, because he's going to have to deal with uh, a, a, a crying disc jockey for the, the next hour and a half. A psychopath DJ. The I mean, psychosis of Don babbling in Ken's ear. You know what, Don? Ken doesn't care anymore. <laughs> he's going to get fired, right, Ken? Supposedly. Uh, Ken will be just fine. Uh, yeah. Norton, I'm sorry. Um, you're going to have to leave the show. We're getting Shelly Long from Cheers. She's going to be sitting in on our program. That's my other point. Leah Remini, I mean. Oh, my. Although Shelly's going to be uh, at a hut in Budapest, and she's going to comment on what goes on on the show, because that really isn't too awkward Leah's sounding. Leah's going to realize she made a horrible mistake. She'll be gone in, uh, I'll give her two more months. What show is yeah. on? Tops. What, what TV show? She is so gone in, in two months. I guess, I guess Kings and Queens uh, may be canceled. Maybe she's trying to look for a second uh, second stage in her life. No, why? No, why? Because, no, why? Because Get radio ass, is yeah. not an easy thing to do, and you can't just plug in, plug in a little satellite feed, and have someone uh, somewhere else in the country and just assume it's all going to work. It's going to be a disaster. All right, so these guys are gone, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, New York done. History, done. I mean, they're not going to be on tomorrow. Please tell me they're not going to be no, on tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, uh, see, if we did have some power, that might be true. No, we're stuck with them until we get another show, but the fact is they're parading new shows down the hall every day. It's a conga line of talent coming through the uh, hallways of this place. I met a couple guys from The Amazing Race. Yeah. I'm like, I didn't even know you guys did radio. I'm shaking hands <laughs> with people. It's like, hey, this is this guy and that guy. I'm like, who the, who the hell are these people? Oh, well, that's why those guys are in. How long has he been going on for? I mean, did they rent? Or they buy out of their apartment to Manhattan. It's it's been going on for a while. Let me, uh, Michael. I'll tell you this. I'll, I'll back up a little bit. Uh, the, the last time Don and Mike tried to bait us and, and go after us, uh, remember we had that meeting with Ken and stuff. Yeah. Ken told us that day they were gone, so we said okay, we'll get the last laugh once yeah. again. So we'll, we'll just shut our mouths and do our radio show. Like I said, nothing to you guys. I mean, you're just doing your own show, and you really didn't say much about them. No. I mean, that's what kills me. So. Yeah, you know, I mean, I listen to you religiously anyway because knew, you're entertaining. You know what? We knew how this was going to end, and um, why give them an excuse to say that? Uh, oh, it was us that did it. 
if you're a good show and you're funny, no one's going to keep you from uh, doing well yeah. and exactly. getting listeners. And then, you know, I'll, like, I'll say it again. We hated the radio chick just as much as we disliked Don and Mike. And you know what? The radio chick ended up having three times the audience as Don and Mike in middays. That's a go. fact that you can look up. But you know, I guess us I, hating the radio chick did not hurt her ratings. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm an intelligent individual, and I listen to it. You know, I let, I'm, I'm entertained by you guys, but I also gave them a shot. I did. And to me, they just they weren't funny. Darian O'Mara and Mike Bonaducci. <laughs> there you go, as far as radio uh, in New York is concerned. Bye-bye. All right, guys. I'll, I'll talk to you later. I believe they have a failure hall of fame somewhere in New York for radio <laughs> talent that has come on. Oh, yeah. I bet I could find it all on the web. Put Jay, in. Jay Thomas is on that wall. <laughs> Put, let's do this. Go to Yahoo. Put in failed New York and radio and see what comes up. I think Mark Perino would be up on the wall. Ah. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, good gosh. Oh, my. <laughs> Mason Kalinske. How did your colonoscopy go? Yeah. I still haven't had one of those, so I no. guess I'm still kind of young. Of course not. You're not a dull middle-aged zilch. No, we're close in age, those guys. Very close. Oh, my God. <laughs> Doesn't it just have to do with what you enjoy doing in life? If you want to just re retire any fun that you might have and turn into sour, bitter old men. Curmudgeons. Curmudgeons. <laughs> That's fine and dandy. Go ahead. But don't fault people that are still having a good goddamn time. Uh, Matt, what's going on? Hey, man, I just wanted to echo that guy. I've been listening to you for nine months, and I couldn't get a read on you guys. I didn't know if you loved them or hated them. Today's the first day I figured out that you hated them. See? Thank you. There you go. And there's tons of people calling saying that. Tons. Yeah, no problem. You guys are great. Norton rules. Thanks, All right. man. We oh, just, uh, we never said anything. Ah, we took our, our little jabs here and there. Yeah, but never uh, getting on and just uh, bashing them without any, any reason. <laughs> Cheryl, what's up? Hi, guys. Hey. Listen, I gave those guys a shot also, too, right? But what turned me off from them was this blinking Frida. Every day, every day, they have to be calling Frida. It was annoying and disgusting. <laughs> and those, those two, two fat slobs, when they come to New York, they need to join a New York sports club. And they, just to let them know they're all news. Miss Cleo, tell me the future. Read your tarot <laughs> cards and tell me what is in the future for Don and Mike. They're, Listen, they're old school, okay? You two guys are new school. They're old school. They yeah, need to get with that. But we're the same age. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So how did that happen? Oh, please. He's a nine wife turn listeners off. We yep. don't want to hear his annoying wife yep. every morning. And his, his kid that he's probably needed to join the sports club. All yeah. School. <laughs> all right. So that's what turned off a lot of listeners. He's calling his... He's a nine wife every day. <laughs> all right. Every day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's Cheryl. Call me now. Mike, you're free reading. Hey, Mike from D.C., what's up? Hey, yeah, hey, how are you guys doing? You guys are talking about, like, good radio and whatnot. How come you wouldn't debate Don and let him say what he had to say? Why'd you have to hang he up had, on him? He had four hours to, uh, say, uh, speak his piece. I know, but you're he, saying he, he you're said good what, radio. No, he, that would be good ah, radio. It sounds like he has something I'm to hide. I'm trying to No, we have nothing to hide. It's out there. You could read it for yourselves. Ugh. Well, then wh why wouldn't you debate him? What is there to hide, Mike, when I ask Don himself, uh, the latest trend that came out today, are we number one men 18 plus, and he that's said yes. All you, that's all you let him say, that one cat. Listen to how dull you sound. That says a lot right you there, Mike. Suck. I listen to how radio. dull I to the you radio sound. I on my car. Yeah, you guys right. are so non-talented. You yeah. sound like a Don and Mike you know fan. Watch your language. Watch your language, Sonny boy. Body mouth. Well, you have no talent. Oh, what's what's you, Don, you and you Dad used to listen to Don and Mike when he drove you, you to school you before no he pulled over in the DC. woods and put a dick in. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Mike. Hey, Mike. 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 This no, this no talent show took over their slot because the company has more uh, belief hey, in Mike this God, program. Yeah, let's hear the real truth. You're the, saying you're the no talent story. show is oh, successfully here, syndicated around the country. Show. This no talent show is consistently successful in the syndicated markets it's in. It doesn't have a point eight anywhere. And especially not in the number one market in the country that, that DJs aspire to be successful. They work their way up their entire career to get to New York and succeed, and they failed miserably. Miserably. Some people fail in New York, but they do just good enough that another station picks them up and goes, well, perhaps with this, that, or the other thing, they can be successful. You will never be back because you failed so miserably.